for undertaking. Uh, pledge number one, economic justice. Increase income tax for the top 5% of earners, reverse the Tories' cuts in corporation tax, and clamp down on tax avoidance, particularly of large corporations. No stepping back from our core principles. His tweets slip about it. Keir Starmer in the leadership campaign. Increase income tax for the top 5% of earners, reverse the Tories' cuts in corporation tax, and clamp down on tax avoidance, particularly of large corporations. No stepping back from our core principles. Well... You see, the thing is, what he's done there is made a series of pledges, cast iron commitments. And in fact, I'll just just be clear, during the leadership contest, I didn't didn't vote for Keir Starmer, but nonetheless, for example, I remember this whole, when he made this commitment, and I was interested to know, is this definitely for real? No chance of any use. And one of Keir Starmer's advisors rang me and said, this is absolutely cast iron, 100% income tax, going up for the top 5% of earners. Absolutely. I mean, not engraved in the stone because Ed Miliband did that and it didn't go down well, Ed Stone. Um, so it it was, a, it was a solemn commitment. Now, here's the thing. Now, I raised this when I mentioned this on Twitter because Keir Starmer's leadership campaign was the most dishonest in British democratic history. Now, people say, oh, well, what about Boris Johnson? He's a liar. Boris Johnson lies as easily as he breathes. I mean, he's, I don't think anyone disputes that deception and dishonesty is absolutely woven into the fundamental character and person of Boris Johnson. Um, and, and I think their, their dishonesty is kind of different because Boris Johnson has this kind of self-serving, how am I going to get myself out of this one kind of dishonesty? Like, you know, he was sacked by his party leader for lying about an affair, for example, that kind of thing. I don't think anyone could look back at Boris Johnson's leadership campaign as it was dishonest. Like, if he was as dishonest as leadership campaign as Keir Starmer, we'd now be rejoining the European Union. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, his whole shtick in the leadership election was get Brexit done. Uh, you know, they got their hard Brexit done, which I think is actually a very damaging Brexit deal for the country. Um, you know, I mean,